Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be reviewing these bad boys here, the Soundcore Liberty 4NC, some of my favourite affordable true wireless earbuds of 2023. Now Soundcore is always a solid bet if you want a pair of premium earbuds but you don't want to absolutely drain your savings. And the Liberty 4 NC are no different, offering adaptive ANC, crazy battery life, some beefy 11mm drivers and all of that for just 99 ruddy dollars. I don't have the UK pricing just yet but you can expect them to cost under 100 pounds when they do make their way to Blighty. I've been testing them out for a couple of weeks now so here's my full in-depth Soundcore Liberty 4 NC review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now I'm just going to start with the case and I really, really like this thing. Not only is it compact and rounded, so it's comfortable to slip into a pair of shorts, trousers, whatever, but also when you pop it open, funky glow and disco lights. Quite a simple wee thing, but clearly I have a simple mind because it was very pleased indeed. The buds themselves aren't the most compact, has to be said. They're a similar sort of size to Apple's AirPods. And yes, they do have the drippy down stems, which I'm still not a massive fan of. But thankfully, these buds are rather lightweight. And they feel comfortable to chuck in your lugs for a good few hours at a time. I didn't get any discomfort. I wasn't constantly fiddling with them. And you get a few different sizes of the silicon tips bundled in the box as well. So hopefully you'll be able to find a size that suits your own lugs. And the app does have a tip test feature as well, just to double check you've got a good seal. I really like this light blue colour option as well, stands out from the rest of the true wireless earbud crowd. But if you want something a bit more boring, you can just grab them in black. I can confirm these buds are pretty hardy because I have spilled the case and scattered the buds everywhere a good couple of times. And IPX4 splash resistant as well, so good news if it does start suddenly pouring with rain again here in Blighty, which I never thought I'd say I'd actually quite look forward to. Now you've got Bluetooth 5.3 here on the Soundcore Liberty 4NCs for pairing up with your smartphone or streaming device of choice. And pairing nice and quick and easy if you've got yourself an Android smartphone. You get the usual Google Connect message pop up. And I did experience a few wee skips and stumbles in that audio streaming when I was in a really packed environment just stuffed with other human beings like King's Cross Station for instance. But we're talking very minor judders and pretty rare. And also occasionally these buds will just suddenly make a noise like they're connecting to another device. Which is particularly confusing when I'm literally alone in the woods with nothing but the earbuds and the phone that they're already connected to. Either I'm being stalked by woodland creatures with built-in Bluetooth or these things are just losing the plot occasionally. And hopefully that's just some weird bug that's going to be ironed out before the actual general release. And like most Bluetooth 5.3 buds, you can connect to two devices simultaneously. Great news if you're posh enough to have two phones or you've got a phone and a laptop. And you can control these connections within the Soundcore app. Speaking of which, the Soundcore app is pretty bloody good. And I also appreciate how, yes, it is just called Soundcore. It doesn't have some ridiculous, complicated name. And this involves all the controls and features that you would basically expect from a true wireless earbud app. You can quickly and easily check on the battery status, you can change up the ANC situation. Lots of equaliser and audio effects, more on that in a bit, and plenty of other features as well. And if you dive on into the settings up here, lots of good stuff in here as well, including that fit test I was banging on about earlier, the usual find device tool. And as you can see in the Soundcore app, you can also fully customise those touch controls. While quite a lot of the true wireless earbuds with stems have squeezy controls, it is tap controls here on the Soundcore Liberty 4NC. And the place you tap them is up here at the top end of the stem. Thankfully, this doesn't jiggle them about in your ears. I found the touch controls work really well, very intuitive. It's just a single tap of either bud to pause or play your music. You can double tap the right bud to skip forward a track, double tap the left bud in order to skip back a track. And then I've also got it so a triple tap will either raise or lower the volume. You've got full oral feedback as well. You get a little tone each time you successfully tap so you know that you're doing it right. And you can also long press the buds in order to cycle through the different noise cancelling modes. But all of this is fully customizable. You've got a good range of options or you can just disable the touch controls if you're not a fan as well. Overall, great stuff. And you also have in-ear detection with the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs, but for some reason it does seem to take a good second or two for the buds to realise they've been yanked out before they pause your music and ditto when you're shoving them back in again. Now you've got some 11mm drivers packed into the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs, which is fairly rare still at this sort of price point. And these things have high-res audio certification as well as full LDAC support as well, so as long as your audio streaming device isn't total bum fluff, you can expect some pretty beefy audio, again especially for this price point. 
Now if we jump back into that Soundcore app and go to sound effects, you can fully customize the audio to suit your own personal preferences and hearing abilities. Like all of the best earbuds, the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs can give you a hearing test, work out exactly how buggered your lugs are, and then tweak the audio to really boost the highs, the lows, whatever you're struggling to hear. This means you can enjoy the full audio experience and you don't have to spend ages buggering around with equalizers or trying lots of different presets to see which one suits you best. That said, you can then further customize the audio output if you want with a variety of presets. And if you really want it, yes, you do have a manual equalizer that you can bugger about with too. So overall, at this sort of price point, you will struggle to find a better oral experience than the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs. Oh, and also I really appreciated the safe volume mode that Anker has chucked in here. This can prevent your earbuds from blasting 110 decibel audio into your lugs when you start up a song and you've forgotten that the volume is cranked right up from when you were listening to a podcast or whatever. Because that really ain't fun. I've ruined many a good pair of Y-fronts that way. Now when it comes to the noise cancelling, the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs once again impress. You've got six mics in total here, three per bud, which can pick up on whatever crazy stuff is going on all around you. This data is then fed to the Liberty 4 NC's brains, which help to cancel out all of that guff and leave you in peace. And I found in my testing that the ANC does a good job of cutting down on all that background clamour. You've got various different modes that you can choose between, including dedicated transportation modes depending on what you're up to. However, I found that bung it on adaptive noise cancelling and the sound cores can adjust to suit whatever is going on around you, so you don't even really need to bother touching that. And no, I found that the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs weren't quite as good as the Bowsers and the Sodies out there, which do a frankly miraculous job of cutting down on background crap. But they were really, really impressive, especially on the likes of trains, when you're in a car, or even just wandering down a high street trying to listen to a podcast without jacking the volume all the way up. So no, they can't do anything to cut out the hideous screeching on the Northern Line, for instance. But then few things can besides jamming a screwdriver into both of your ears. And top tip, make sure you turn on the wind noise reduction mode as well, because I got a lot of wind feedback before I chucked that on. And you've also got yourself two transparency modes, including a vocal mode, which is supposed to highlight any voices that are speaking at you in your general vicinity. I found this didn't really make much difference compared with the standard transparent mode, though, to be honest. And now, of course, a bit of mic test action. And unsurprisingly, given the multitude of microphones all around the Liberty 4 NCs, they do a pretty really good job of picking up on your voice. And even when there's lots of background noise going on, again, they do a fantastic job of filtering out that stuff while making your voice still sound pretty clear. Don't take my word for it, though. Let's get some traffic noise on the go. So here we go. Lots of honking of horns and other horribleness going on right beside my face. And as you can hear, I'm still coming through nice and crisp and clear. But one of the key areas where the Liberty 4 NCs have improved over previous Soundcore buds is the battery life. You've now got up to 10 hours of use from these buds before they need to be bunged back in the case. Although with active noise cancellation turned on, I found this was closer to eight hours. That's still a remarkably good effort though, better than most of the true wireless earbuds that I've tested in recent times. And when they do need a bit of a charge, just chuck them back in this delightful wee glowy case. Chuck them in there for just five minutes and you get a good couple of hours of music playback again. And this case can recharge the buds up to around four times in total before the case itself needs recharging as well. So overall, fantastic effort. Perfect for anyone who does all those long distance commutes, lots of international travel. And for added convenience, the case itself can be charged wirelessly. So if you've got a phone that supports reverse wireless charging, just chuck them on the back of there to juice them back up again. And there you have it, my lovelies. That in a delicious wee nutshell is the Soundcore Liberty 4 NCs by Anchor. And i got to say, for under $100, £100, £100, stunning value for money, lots of great premium style features, usually getting buds about twice the price. Especially good for long distance travellers, thanks to that excellent battery life. You've got pretty good audio quality as well, including customised sound support. And yes, did I mention the glowy box? The glowy box is pretty cool. Anyway, it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers!